So here we have another passive O2 delivery device. This one is your non-rebreather mask. Obviously, it's still in the bag. Again, these are single-use devices on patients. We'll run this one from 10 liters a minute up to 15 liters a minute. These are more for your anaphylactic patients, people in severe respiratory distress, your traumatic injury patients, diving emergencies, pregnant emergencies, burn inhalations, things like that where a large concentration of oxygen is appropriate. These provide up to about 95% O2. There is some leakage that occurs around the seal of the mask. So we'll go ahead and take this out of the packaging and show you how to use it with an O2 bottle. So here we've got our O2 bottle with the regulator assembled and the O2 tank is turned on. We will take this end of the non-rebreather mask, this green side right here. We'll plug this into the tree. You want it on there firmly, but not too tight because you want to take this off when you get into the ambulance and put them on the main O2 tank. And then we'll turn this to, I'm going to turn it straight to 15 liters a minute just for this demonstration. I will then take the mask and you see how this bag is all folded up. I'm actually, obviously I'd be wearing gloves if I was out in the field, but I'll open up the interior of the mask and I will place my finger here to inflate the reservoir bag. You want to be careful you don't pop it, so I'll let go right there and we'll show you how to apply it to a patient now. To apply the non-rebreather mask to a patient, simply instruct them to breathe normally while you stretch the elastic band out in one hand, apply the mask to the face with the other hand, looping it around their head. Be careful to not pull on their hair too much. The strap should go above the ears, around the back of the head before you cinch it down. So I'll cinch down one side here, one side here, and then this nose piece should be firmly affixed to the patient's face. You want to get a nice face-to-mask seal to ensure they get the highest concentration of O2 possible.